no clear outcome on the talks but, uh, about the restructuring of Greece, uh, Greek debt over the weekend, and that's uh, put the, pre uh, the euro under pressure. We've got it about the 129 level right now. What did you make of weekend commentary that, uh, that came out of the eurozone specifically? Well, as you mentioned, those expectations surrounding the Greek debt was not met. Um, so the Greek bondholders are really looking towards the IMF and the EU to really uh, reach a decision on the Greek debt to avoid that uh, default. But today's meetings with regards to the finance ministers may not really see any concrete resolutions come out, especially from the, from the German side. So we could see some further pressure on the euro dollar movements, especially on the, on the euro front. With regards to the dollar, we ha are seeing some, um, some, well, some pressure could come from um, indications this week from the FOMC and the State of the Nation address by the president. But for, for the moment, that really seems to be um, a euro um, Sorry, a euro spin on, on currency movements at the moment. Of course, to highlight is that exacerbating things and the volatility we're likely to see on the currency markets is the fact that we've got a major Asian centers closed for the Lunar New Year break. Um, yes, indeed. So there's going to be very little trade or, or rather um, very little data coming out as well to really impact on those, um, on those numbers. So it's really, we're really going to expect to take direction from the, U, uh, the European Union and the IMF decisions this week as well as the finance ministers' meetings. But as I mentioned earlier, there's quite a bit of data coming out of the U.S. Mm -hmm. and um, comments coming out of the U.S. that could really um, impact sentiment as well. So it's the start of a new trading week, Shireen. Uh, what kind of uh, trading range have you pegged out for the U.S.? Euro dollar. Well, last week we did see that risk rally really um, see the rand strengthen quite significantly against the dollar from about 8.20 and under the 8787 uh, level. Uh, we're seeing that um, rand bullishness really remain fairly intact today, this morning, um, with the mood um, risk on, and commodity prices are also firmer. But as I mentioned earlier, the adverse developments in the eurozone could really spoil the mood um, today. So, but we do expect with the thin trading volumes that we're expecting, um, given the fact that there's uh, not a lot of data and that the Chinese markets are closed. We could possibly see further rand strength coming through with a move towards a possibly 790 and even 787. 787. Okay, so that on the rand front, does it surprise you the kind of resilience we're seeing on the local unit? Because despite the dollar's generally firmer tone, and I was chatting to Greg Falkvane a little earlier on at the desk, we've had commodity currencies like the, the rand, like the Australian dollar, holding their ground. Uh, so, to what extent does that come as a surprise? Um, it's not that much of a surprise. Um, we are seeing that the RAND really taking direction from those um, euro dollar movements, but we're also seeing that the risk on environment is really keeping the RAND quite buoyant at the moment. Um, investors, yes, they are remaining cautious, but there, there does seem to be some risk appetite as well. So we are expecting to see that um, continue through for the remainder of the day. We've got risk appetite on the one hand. What about, uh, you know, the appetite for higher yield in currencies? I mean, uh, we had last week the Reserve Bank's decision to keep South Africa African interest rates stable come through and some saying that that's highlighted our carry trade appeal. Um, yes, indeed, it did um, support the RAND, but we also have to bear in mind that the reason why the, the Reserve Bank has kept interest rates on hold at this point is the fact that they're also worried about um, GDP growth going forward, so they can't really do much at the moment. And the, combined with the fact that the inflation rate is expected to remain above the um, upper limit of the target band for quite some time. So they did have to keep um, interest rates on hold. Um, Standard Bank is also of the view that interest rates will remain on hold for the remainder of 2012 and towards uh, mid-2013, where we do expect um, rate uh, hikes to come through.